First at 530, school policy controversy. Outrage tonight from current and former students at Mount St. Charles Academy. The Woonsocket Catholic School says it will not allow transgender students to continue to enroll. Tonight, we have a response from the school. Plus, we're talking with one former student who tried to give back her diploma today. Iowa News reporter Steve Nielsen is live in the control room now with our top local story at 530. Well, we started looking into this when an upset alum read the policy and contacted us to investigate. I went to the school today and they wouldn't talk to me on camera. But while I was there, I ran into another alum. She was trying to return her diploma because she was so upset by this policy. Want to be a Mountie? The entrance exam for Mount St. Charles is Saturday morning, but transgendered students won't get in. That's according to a policy unearthed by alumni in the student handbook. It reads, Mount St. Charles Academy is unable to make accommodations for transgender students. Therefore, MSC does not accept transgender students, nor is MSC able to continue to enroll students who identify as transgender. It felt like a punch to the gut. I started crying. Megan Jackson graduated in 2014, but Friday morning she tried to return her diploma so upset that she felt the need to inform administrators for the first time she's a lesbian and hurt by the new policy that she feels attacks the LGBTQ community. I wouldn't be able to keep my Mount diploma if there were other kids that weren't going to be even able to get it. After talking with the school president, she kept her diploma, hopeful the school will make changes and be more inclusive. People should be able to be safely out of the closet. Clearly, just the fact that they put it down in words that these certain students are not allowed. It was such a jolt. After turning down my request to talk on camera about the controversial policy, the school released a statement saying they aren't intending to discriminate, but they don't serve all students. It says in part, some students may not be academically qualified. Others may have learning plans, which the school cannot accommodate. And in some cases, our facilities may not be adequate to service some students. And the academy also mentioned that some, uh, excuse me, that no transgendered students have applied and that they will look at ways that they can accommodate them in the future. An online petition to reverse that policy already has hundreds of signatures. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.